What's up, YouTube world? Um, I got a new addition for the cube tank. It's been a while since I bought a new fish. And uh, to be honest with you, I got the fish and uh, really didn't like it after I had put some thought into it. So I'm just going to dump it down the drain and turn on the, uh, uh, the sink and, and, and wish it good luck. And uh, it was a bad uh, purchase on my part. So next time I'll know better, but no, I'm joking in all seriousness. Um, all I'm doing here is dumping out some of the water in the bag um, and I'm going to retie the bag so that I can put it in a Ziploc bag. This is just something that I've done for a long time. Um, you know, these bags have a tendency to, to kind of flip their way around whenever you try to uh, uh, put them in the tank to temperature acclimate them. So what I've always done is um, drained out some of the water and put them in a gallon Ziploc baggie um, just for my sake that uh, reduces the risk of the water actually spilling into the tank. Um, so this is just one more step that I take and I should be uh, following all of the strict rules and doing a quarantine on this fish and whatever but um, I haven't and this is actually only the third fish inside the cube so I'm taking my chances now whenever I do uh, upgrade my tank um, specific quarantine um, procedures will be followed just because it'll be a bigger tank and there'll be a, a lot more livestock involved in that. Um, but it, yeah, I went to the local fish store um, a couple weeks ago to uh, actually trade in or actually give them some food that I had. Um, and, and I was no longer going to use any of the stuff that I had. So I decided I'd give it to them and tell them to either sell it or, or give it to customers that had bought something from them. Um, and while I was in there, they had uh, four or five different fire fish. So uh, I asked them if they would feed them. Um, you know, I sat there and watched them eat. Uh, this one particular ate very well. Um, so uh, I decided to, to go ahead and pick it up. And they're not very expensive. Um, Twelve, fifteen dollars, somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, you know, if you get a larger one, they can I think go up to twenty dollars or whatever. And I believe the minimum tank size for the firefish is uh, ten gallons. So with the twenty-seven gallon cube, um, I definitely have enough water volume for this particular fish. And uh, the the fish looked great at the uh, fish store. And whenever I brought them home. Uh, didn't act uh, paranoid or, or skittish or anything. So, uh, so far so good. It's been a couple weeks since this uh, firefish has been in the system and uh, he's, uh, he or she is eating well and um, getting along with the clowns, which the clowns still hang out in the back of the tank for whatever reason. Um, but the firefish is front and center. Um, hasn't been spooked or anything just yet. So there's one thing to take note here. Um, I always dump the bag that I get from uh, anybody. It doesn't matter if it comes from a store or an individual, I just dump it into a bucket and I have my net placed here so that I can just transfer the fish from the, uh, the net into the tank. And I'll try to keep as much water uh, out, of the, um, out of my display tank that I brought in from the bag. So it's a relatively simple procedure. Doesn't take a big net, doesn't take a big bucket. Just takes a little bit of accuracy as far as getting the net to stay put. Whenever you're doing this by yourself, you don't have anybody to hold the net for you. But so far, so good. Haven't uh, dropped any fish in the bucket. And if you do, it's no big deal. You just net them out. Um, so adding the fish to the tank, like I said, it's uh, he's, he or she's been in there for a few weeks now. And everything's been uh, perfect. Um, the firefish is eating perfectly. It's uh, Doing pretty good, nice colors on them, doesn't show any signs of stress, doesn't really get any uh, get skittish or whatever. Uh, it just ended up being a beautiful fish and I'm glad I picked it up. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get next. It's been, um, like I said, a couple weeks since he's been in there and I'd like to get something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up yet. It just depends on what my local fish store gets. Uh, I don't really want to order a fish online for the cube. I might do that whenever I upgrade my tank. Um, but so far so good. It's got some beautiful colors and has a great personality. Like I said, hangs out in front of the tank so that everybody can see him. Unlike the clowns, which like to hide out in the back of the tank. So, um, highly recommend this fish. I'm, and I'm always open to suggestions on what you think I should pick up next. So leave them in the comments below and we'll see what I can come up with. Like I said, it all depends on what the local fish store comes up with. Um, 
Overall, the tank is doing well, still battling some uh, algae issues, which you can see here. Um, I did neglect, I wouldn't necessarily say neglect, but I, I should be doing a uh, five gallon water change once a week, which five gallons is a pretty big water change for this system. Um, but I had neglected it and I was doing it once every two weeks. So I'm back on the once a week um, water change regimen. And um, I've noticed that the, the algae is kind of, um, it's, it's still present, but not as much as it was due to the step up of the uh, water changes. So definitely keep up with the, the maintenance. Um, and it's something that I've mentioned before that I need to, to really get better at. Uh, and now that I only have one tank, it's a lot easier, but um, I can't wait to uh, see where we're going with this. I have actually started ordering equipment for the upgrade. I've got a few pieces in and I'll be doing a video on that probably next week. Um, I think I, I should have one of the, the key pieces in this week, so that's very interesting and very exciting. Um, the Cube is a, a great tank and I highly su suggest it for anybody, but as I mentioned before, I, I should have should have gotten bigger um, from the get-go, but you know, you live and learn. And I was originally gonna order the BRS uh, Bulk Reef Supply uh, DIY screen top for the tank, but I didn't really wanna spend the $30 for a screen top that I wasn't gonna use very long, so I did get uh, a piece of egg crate that I've had laying around in the garage and it's not the best screen top in the world but it's it's better than not having anything to keep the fish in the tank um, and it doesn't really look all that bad in my opinion all right folks I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up be sure to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for future updates thanks for watching